Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about um, upcycling our old t-shirts, our old fabric, and what we're going to do is make this really cute, uh, it's like a rag tie rug with just any strips of old fabric that you have. Uh, I used old t-shirts, old, you know, sweatshirts, old um, pajamas, just... Um, Lots of the kids' clothes that I had stored up in the basement that um, I wanted to upcycle and reuse again. So I went ahead and cut a ton of, of t-shirt strips. They're about um, six inches by about one inch. But your different fabrics are going to tie differently and they'll take up different space in your squares. In our mat here this is the the backing you can just pick this up at Walmart or any craft store and it's really not expensive at all I think I got this one maybe on clearance for a dollar and this one is I think it's 24 by 30 inches so it's a fairly decent sized rug I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in front of my kitchen sink um, you can see that it's about halfway through it and Although this rug isn't hard to make, it is very, very time consuming. You'll spend just as much time cutting your strips as you do tying them. So although it's not hard, it is, it is a very lengthy project. So plan on spending, you know, quite a bit of time doing it. Another tip, make sure that you cut your strips, all of them, before you get started tying especially if you're using different colored um, material or fabric, you'll definitely wanna make sure that all of those strips are cut first. And it's better to have more strips than not enough strips. And I would say I probably have thousands of, of strips. I have two baskets full of strips. And this amount here has taken, well, let's see here, about this basket here, I can't can't see if you can tell the size, but it's huge, and there is lots and lots and lots of strips in here, and I've used about half of it already. So you will need a lot of strips. And then this is all you do. I can just show you easily, right? I'll just use this strip here. Right here, you just go from underneath push it up through. I find it just as easy to use your fingers as it is a tool. I felt that it took more time using a tool than it does to just use your fingers. And then I skip a square and come up like this and then you just do a simple knot. You can double knot it if you want or just leave the one knot. And then I skip a square and some of the fabric, like this fabric, doesn't necessarily fill up a full square so I'll go ahead and add another strip to make the square seem a bit fuller which makes your rug very dense and very soft. Uh, it's a very very simple project uh, but it is time consuming and it will take you lots and lots of time and if you accidentally make if you accidentally make strips that are too short or um, ones that you think just don't look right in your in your rug I just go ahead and use my two short ones over here on the edges and my ones like I left a little bit of the design so I went ahead and put that on the edges so obviously the more holes you fill the denser your rug will be and the more strips you will need the less excuse me the less holes you fill obviously the less you'll need and the less dense your rug will be but that also means that you'll possibly feel the knots on your feet while walking on the rug. So I prefer denser. That way I don't, it's not hard at all. It's very soft, very squishy. And the back of the rug will look something like this. Where you can see the hill, the, all the holes are basically filled. Um, if you do have like a sweatpant fabric, sometimes you can miss 
a couple of holes and that's fine because the knots that are tied up there are very full and they take up uh, a lot of space so even with skipping you know one or two squares you'll still need a, a lot a lot of strips so it doesn't take a lot of utensils you'll need you know the backing a pair of scissors a pair of good scissors uh, uh, measuring tape and lots of old clothing or old fabric and this is a perfect way to up to upcycle your old clothing all right, thanks for joining me. We'll go over the next one. This is Barely Creative.